In my previous video scene here, I showed you how to set up and use Shuko's paratroop script. Today I want to share with you an updated version which will make the paratroopers hunt you using Hearn Hunter AI script. We're going to start off by creating a little scenario and we're going to go to this location. We're going to place a player. We're going to right click him and edit his loadout. And we're going to load a loadout I have set up for this which is going to be this. Next, we're going to go to this location and we're going to go to O4, FIA, then men, and then officer. And then we're going to place a rifleman. We're going to place the rifleman right in front of the building, facing this direction. And then we're going to edit the officer and in his variable name put OF. It for that, and then we're just gonna right click him, edit his loadout, kind of change his uh, beanie to a beret so he looks more like an officer. And then we're gonna put this guy upstairs and we're gonna face him this direction. Next, go to F5 systems, then we're gonna go to Intel and then create task. Place the task module, double click, then we're going to set the owner to blue four since the player is blue four, and then we're going to go to the title, and the task is going to be kill the officer, and in the description we're going to put locate and kill the officer, and that's it for that. Module position, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, test date will be created. The test type will be kill. And that's all we need to do for that one. Then we're going to set a test, set test state module. And double click that. It's going to be set to succeeded. And we're going to sync this set test state module to the create test module. Next, we're going to go to triggers. We're going to place a trigger without a size, and we're going to place a trigger right here. We're going to sync the trigger to the set test state module, and we're not going to do anything with the trigger yet. We'll come back to that. Next, we're going to save our scenario, and we're going to put this on Livonia, and we're going to name this Call Pair of Troopers. All right, now that our mission is saved, let's go to the scenario tab at the top left and then down to where it says open scenario folder. All right, we're in our scenario folder and what we're going to do is pull up another scenario that I have and share these three scripts with you. Here are three scripts that I'm going to zip up into a zip file and link them for download in the description of the video. When you get them, the zip file, unzip it and put the three scripts that you see in your scenario folder like I did here. Now this is Shuko's paratroop script. This is a regular init.sqf script and this is the Hearn Hunter AI script. When you get this script in particular, if you already have an init.sqf in your scenario, then open this one and copy this line and copy it to your init.sqf. If you don't, then just put the script in there. Let's start off by opening up the paratrooper script. And this script was updated three times. The original author is Shuko. And I added some other code to the script. And then Writey Gear updated the script, adding the functionalities for some other things and the ability for the script to call on the Hearn Hunter AI script. All right, let's go to line 37. And I'm not going to review this script like I did in my previous video about the script, so I'm just going to go to the two lines. Line 37, change class name of transport type and the faction of that transport. So right here is a class name of a helicopter. So basically what we need to do is go in game and get the class name of a helicopter that we're going to use. All right, back in our scenario, let's go to F1, and then to close this, we're going to go to CSAT, and then we're going to go to helicopters, and we're going to place down a PL30 Orca 
unarmed. Right click it and then we're going to go down to where it says log classes to clipboard. So once you click that then it'll log the class name to the clipboard. Now let's go back to the script. Alright back in the script so we're going to go to line 38 here and in between the quotes you're going to press control V and that's going to paste the class name in between the quotes. Obviously the name here didn't change because I used the same class name in my other scenario. Whatever side that you use, be sure to change this here. You know, since we're on 04, it's going to be east. But if you're using another uh, side, be sure to change that to that side. So for example, if you're using blue 4 as the helicopter, then set it as west. If you're using uh, independent, then set it for gorilla or independent. All right, let's go down a little bit and line 47. It says change faction and group of paratroopers that spawn. So on line 48, which is here, this line right here is what we need to go in the game and uh, get. All right, back in the scenario, we can delete the helicopter. Next, we're going to go to Tools at the top and then down to where it says Config Viewer. And once you get the Config Viewer, you're going to look for a, an area that says CFG Groups, which is what I already have highlighted. And once you get there, then you're going to basically just double click it and then you're going to choose the side that you want. So we're on the east side. We're going to double click that. And then if you take a look at each one of these, it'll tell you it'll tell you which faction side that is so you can look in the box here and it'll say CSAT FIA Spetsnaz CSAT Pacific we're gonna choose Spetsnaz so we double click this double click the Spetsnaz we'll choose the recon Spetsnaz recon squad and basically all you have to do is highlight this line press control C and let's go back to the script what you're going to do is you're going to go to this point here and you're going to highlight this whole thing all the way up to the quotes and then you're going to press control V which will update the current code there with one that you placed now be sure to check your syntaxes which is extra quotes which you don't want and everything else should be good before we save is make sure this says the faction that you want like we did up here so this is east and that's good we'll save that and lastly let's scroll to the top and what we need is we're going to copy this code right here and this is the code that calls the paratroop script so highlight that and copy that and then we're gonna go back into the game alright back in our scenario we're going to go to this location and what you're going to do is you're going to edit the trigger and on activation we're going to paste the code so here's the code and we're going to do one more thing we're going to add a hint to this code so we're going to type hint space quote enemy here uh, troopers are on the way exclamation point end quote and then semicolon and lastly we're going to go to the condition and type in exclamation point alive space and OF what this is going to do is this is going to check to see if the officer is alive and if he isn't then it's going to then the trigger is going to fire off and the script is going to be called and the paratroopers are going to come and this hint's going to go off. So we'll just hit OK. Lastly, before we move on, we're going to edit the player and we're going to give him a variable name of target pause. Target pause is the same name that's in the trigger. So if we look at the trigger, target pause that's what calls the script and the script revolves around whatever that name is so the name is going to be around the player all right so let's save our scenario and uh, test it out let's go to the map and we have a task kill the officer locate and kill the officer let's do it this guy's oblivious
You can see me coming. Officers upstairs in this room. Let's see how this goes. Alright. So we killed the officer. Enemy paratroopers are on the way. where they're at by going to spectator. Alright guys, they got me. Hope you enjoyed that, I hope you find the script useful. For more codes and scripts, take a look at this playlist.